Good evening, this is the Oscar X here with Brother Bro at the Sundance Film Festival, and it's time for a review of Fresh. This is a dark comedy horror thriller about a woman who's not having a good time dating men on the apps, and she finally finds somebody who seems cool, and then she goes away with him, and then it gets bad, and we're not gonna spoil it beyond that. Also worth noting, this is coming to Hulu in March, and I think it's got like great potential to make a splash on a streaming platform because it's very entertaining. It has a sort of weird, like interesting subject matter that I think will draw people. And it has a really good tone where it's distressing on one hand, but it's also like kind of deliciously fun to watch. Exactly. I just know that most people would eat this thing up, no pun intended. It's a wild ride that keeps you guessing throughout. And it's like the right amount of perverse that I think it's gonna captivate a lot of people, especially, you know, all those like teenage girls who love reading about serial killers and stuff. Like they're gonna eat this thing up. Yeah, Sebastian Stan will be their new background on their phone. There's definitely also a fun performance from Sebastian Stan doing something that we haven't seen him do. Sebastian Stan did a great version of like this charming psychopath. Except he's not that charming. You kind of are creeped out by him the whole time. But you could see why like the main character was charmed by him. I was engaged with that performance throughout and it was just really fun. And I think that's all it had to be was a fun performance. And Daisy Edgar Jones is also really good in this. I thought she was a real standout and she had a tough role to play. I mean, there were moments when it really lingered on her reaction to being put in like a terrible situation and she played it extremely well. And there was another moment where she, you know, in, at, at a dinner scene when she was also fantastic and I don't want to spoil it but she like sold everything to me yeah I really bought her at like every second of this movie and, and like you're saying like it was a tough role to pull off and she really did it I like that the first third of this movie feels just like a straight rom-com it feels quite different from the rest of it but it's that sort of jarring tonal shift that you get right at the intersection that makes that all work for me and the first half does a good job you know exploring like how shitty dating can be. And the movie seems to be kind of trying to comment on like dating as a whole in a sort of allegorical way in the last two thirds, but I don't really know that it resonated that way. I think it is trying to I do not sort see of make the allegory. I, don't I think it's trying to kind of make a point, I don't, but I don't see that. I don't but think it resonates. What are you talking about? It yeah. worked more for me just as like an interesting thriller. Yeah, Maybe if you're so. watching it for depth, I don't think you're gonna like what, what it ends up being. I think it is mostly a straightforward movie and you just have to have fun with it. And I did not feel like a movie buff while I was watching, which is kind of nice. I felt like this is a movie that was just trying to entertain me and it was doing a really good job. I'm sure the movie buff part of you though did appreciate the cinematography because yeah. I think that's a big standout here. The cinematography and production design were all really good. Like I think it was actually very well made, especially given that we're just having fun here and this is a thriller. It was really well shot. It looked great. A lot of creative camera movements too. So big hats off to Mimi Cave, um, who I'm, and I'm excited to see what she's going to do next. Like, yeah. This felt really well polished. I do think that this movie suffers from some of the common trappings of films like this. Like if you told me at the halfway point how the rest of it was gonna go, I'd be like, oh, like, yeah, I guess. I guess that makes sense that that's where it's gonna go. I, it didn't really throw me for a, like a loop the way that maybe I hoped it would. And unfortunately, I felt like the end was a little bit of a shrug for me. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I had a bolder prediction in my head for how things were gonna unravel that didn't come true. But at the same time, I would have been more upset if they tried to force something in there that didn't make sense with the plot. I feel like the way it played out was realistic and that's kind of the most important thing. There were also a couple moments towards the end where I was like, do this please do this, please do this. Like yeah, you have such a clear opportunity to like do this and we know what's gonna happen if you don't cause this is that kind of movie and that's exactly what happens. And it's like, you know, the characters are making pretty smart decisions throughout and then it's stuff like that where it's like, ah, you're only doing that because you need to keep it going to be a movie. But for the most part, the characters made really good decisions, I think. Like, they yeah. were smart, they were savvy. There was also a moment towards the middle where I thought that maybe the main character was gonna reckon with like, this sort of darker side of herself didn't come true. Didn't really come true. I didn't. Yeah, I think but they... I also feel like that's a part that I don't know how much I would have believed that was going on. I would have liked to see at least something, you know, along the lines of character development yeah, for this protagonist. Oh, the other implausible thing was she I just says she has something taken away from her and then they kind of ignore the fact that that ever happened. Yeah. Because of what she can physically do after. <laughs> that was like, what? Like, yeah, I don't uh, uh, yeah, I can't say anything else. That was weird. They literally pretended that it didn't happen. So there were some things in this movie in the second half that like sort of bothered me and left me like, I wish this was a little stronger. But overall, I think the movie does its job as a darkly comedic thriller with really good performances, great cinematography, 
it's well made movie overall. I would give it a seven out of ten. I'll go on the higher end of seven or eight, and I'll just say eight. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. How fresh was your last meal?